And good afternoon once again, everybody. Welcome into our second race in a row here with Mr. I Casper. So the doubleheader just about to finish up. We're going to start this one differently. How about this for different music to start the doubleheader? Yeah, let's do that. Actually, to finish it. I said that wrong. Either way, so happy almost birthday to the new racer on the right-hand side, Mr. Zero Game Plan. So uh, almost being the key term here, but nonetheless, I'll jump the gun a little bit. Happy almost birthday, dude. So we'll just flat out say it. Happy birthday. Everybody give Zero Game Plan a happy early birthday if you guys would. So he's going to be racing against iCasper, as you may have noticed. So he was in our last race. As I said, we're doing a double header with him. He had to make up a race uh, from, what was that, week 12 against Eddie? I don't even remember. Who knows? But that was a makeup race uh, beforehand. So this is the official week 15 race for both of these racers. And again, if Casper were to win this one, we have a division clinch on our hand. So this is a big match for him as well as for Mr. Zero Game Plan on the right hand side. Huge match for him. If he gets this, this would be his ninth win and push him into that playoff. Oh, and he would be doing that dance right there. I guarantee it. Could we, could we get you to meow too like that? Or roar, whatever the case might be? Uh, either way, though, <laughs> like I was saying, he'll wind up uh, being very happy with that ninth win that would push him into playoff contention. Very, very much so with uh, Wolf 21. So it would be between tiebreakers between those two at that point. I believe Zero would get it. So, huge match for both of these guys. As I said, we're going to do a best two out of three race through the womb two. Whoever kills off Mom's Heart first is going to get a point at the bottom of the screen. We'll reset them both. Again, on the way down, there's seven banned items. Nobody can pick up. Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, Ipecac, Dead Sea Scrolls, Holy Bible, Toothpicks, perfect timing on the music, and the shovel. Uh, toothpicks can be picked up. All seven of those items, though, are the only ones you can D6 against. So only items you can re-roll right there. That's why the toothpicks are on there. They're very bad. We'll explain any reasons why should we see any of those items. But again, uh, these guys are on a call. I got the link up on my Twitter. I know it's uh, pro probably kind of hard to see. I'll toss it into the beginning of the uh, title here too, which is going to be ridiculously long, but it's up in the title as well as soon as it updates. So hit up the split link, say what's up to Casper and Zero, even though I can't see my chat. So go say what's up and support these guys if y'all would. And again, best of luck. Uh, whenever they get started, they're free to go. And for those wondering, by the way, yes, this is Family Jewel 7X that you're hearing doing this guitar work. And tell me that ain't amazing, by the way. He's also the guy that did the intro music uh, for our intro here on Boiler. Ah, that's why Zero was all cold. I had to get himself a hoodie. So he's back now. We're just about to get started here. As you can see, they're winding up some uh, shots. So again, best of luck to both of you. And again, huge, huge match for both of these guys. They both need this win for playoff spots. And again, Casper could clinch his division outright over Mellow Ace. Zero game plan looking for that ninth win. Would move him within one of Jim Drizzle at the moment. Also get him that playoff spot over Wold by tiebreaker. So huge for them both. Big pressure and good luck, guys. Ooh, and good start on... Well, at least on... Oh, no. It happened. It actually happened. <laughs> All right, we'll get to Zero's item in a second, but for those who didn't see it, Casper walked into his first item room. It was Dr. Fetus. And of all people, you get to reroll Dr. Fetus because that turns your tears into bombs, which uh, that is outlawed here in the league because that would open up every single door on the fly. Uh, becomes way too overpowered. You cannot get rid of those at that point. So we banned it because of that reason. You get to reroll it. Casper rerolled it into the poop. Enough said. Team Poop, it's on the left side. It always has been, and it still is, ladies and gents. So Zero Game Plan picked up uh, Little Chub, which you'll see him line up just right here. There we go. Boy, is that going to get misquoted. Um, <laughs> either way, he's going to fire that on through Gemini here, so it makes a, a lot of damage as that chews through enemies. And there you go. See the uh, damage just chunking off, especially if you get anything up against the wall. They are basically going to get chewed alive. It is great. All right, Cat of Nine Tails for zero game plan. Going to increase his shot speed on screen, and he'll be the first on down to basement two. So Casper going to head back before that boss fight, worry about finding an item here, and see if this is worth keeping as a run. Well, speaking of keeping as a run, Zero is going to be very happy now. Small Rock's going to give him damage increase, fire rate increase, and movement speed decrease. So he'll walk slower, but that makes up for it with all the damage he's got. And again, now he does live overseas for me. You're going to see a few of those, I don't want to call them frame drops, because that's not on Zero. That's on my side, watching him. 
So all apologies for that, but again, he lives overseas. There is a huge League of Legends tournament going on right now. And because of the, the way that it's all basically routed through Twitch, uh, it's kind of on the same server. So from time to time, that right there is going to happen. So all apologies, but yeah, that happens when you have distance between the casters. So zero finishing off. Two soul hearts, a little bit more fire rate. And might as well spend two red hearts. He's going to get flying and spectral tears with Spirit of the Night. And he'll be back looking for that second item room. Oh, nothing but spider spawn in Casper's uh, secret, or, uh, excuse me, in his curse room. Again, Casper also holding on to Monstro's tooth. We'll probably see that against the boss fight here. That'll summon Monstro out of the sky to land on enemies and do damage. First things first, that item room on zero is going to be the Necronomicon we saw at last race. It gives you a death card usage and damages everything in the room equally. So not a half bad item, but going to be left behind in favor of that D6. We've already seen a banned item show up in the first couple floors for both of these guys. Or for uh, Casper, I should say. So might as well play it safe. Zero going to hang on to that D6 and be right back on over for uh, what was his boss fight. We'll move on down to his Caves 1. Ooh, world card for Casper. Going to be a full map and compass reveal. Yeah, with Curse of the Lost actually counteracting it here, Zero immediately finds his item room in which he has the Miter. 50% chance now that any Red Heart spawn will be a Soul Heart, a blue one, and much easier to pick up. So chances were that there was a 50% increased chance that that Red Heart right there would have been a blue one instead. And yes, you will see that happen a lot. No, you won't be able to tell, like, it won't show up red and then all of a sudden be blue. But you'll be able to tell there will be a lot more Soul Hearts for him. Excuse me. All right, Casper's new item room is going to be uh, Shoop to Whoop. That's a one-time brimstone usage. So again, though effective on the early levels, not really all that damaging. He'll leave it behind for Monstro's Tooth, which in this case, actually probably going to help him out more. So we'll see which boss fight it is. Maybe we'll be able to prove that. All right, first things first, treasure map. So Casper with an internal compass already also has a treasure map now out of his store. So he'll be able to see the entire layout of his floor on his mini-map as he gets down to the next uh, floor here. And he could already see it, but he's been in every single room. So there's Monstro paying dividends. A little bit of health up and uh, damage increase with meat. Casper will full heal and be on down to his cave's one. Curse of Darkness. Now here's one thing I should point out. When you get that Curse of Darkness... Doesn't matter, you won't be able to see your mini-map, as you notice, you got the treasure map. Uh, but you won't be able to see that, you won't be able to see compass effect. Sun card doesn't work, world card also doesn't work. So don't bother wasting them. Again, Zero finding himself Little Ch or, uh, Chad, I should say, in his boss fight. He'll wind up with Little Chad, which every couple of rooms will spawn half a red heart to, for him to heal with. And no, that does not uh, act alongside with the Miter, so no, that will not sometimes spawn a uh, blue soul heart for you. At the end of the fight, it happened to, but not out of little chat itself. Ooh. Um, wow, that deal. Do you take Duffy's paw? Do you take the pact? Yeah, the pact it is. Wow. So that's kind of tough to do, but it has to be done. Zero with no red hearts now. Got himself damage increase and fire rate increase again with the pact. Got himself those two soul hearts increased as well. So yes, he did stay alive there. He has no red hearts left at the moment. He can still pick up health up, though. He's not technically the blue baby. Ooh, PhD now for Casper, so nothing but good or neutral pills. He'll also be able to tell exactly what they are. Other good news was it actually wound up full healing him. So back up in three, or, uh, four full red hearts. And again, both uh, working on caves level. Zero, one floor ahead at the moment, though. Casper going to quickly work on over towards this boss fight here. And speaking of which, automatically found it, so he wasn't too far away. I figured he had to be pretty close given what he had covered. 
to a diamonds will double up zero game plans money whenever he uses that. So right now he could double up from 14 to 28 cents. There's that boss fight for Casper. Gonna drop Monstro on him. There, as you notice, yes, you can actually damage Monstro. You can actually kill him, believe it or not. No, that will not break your item. He will still show up. But yes, you can kill that monster. Or a uh, monster, I should say. But Casper fighting against Pestilence will wind up with a cube of meat to add on to that Guardian Angel he already has. So that'll also be double speed. And again, do the same damage and uh, shot blocking. So believe it or not, our first horseman of this run. Wow. That's kind of crazy, actually. So there's that cube of meat. Full heal he'll be on. Uh, tough call here. Do you pick up that red heart? So Paul Chinian showing up in Zero Game Plan's item room. He'll say no to the crown in a challenge room. That would have been three extra rooms worth of enemies just to get a few pennies. But going to leave behind the, uh, the red heart, at least for the time being, here on Zero side. Bombs are keys, so now six keys instead of those uh, six bombs that Zero had. And again, you notice it switched out, so zero bombs now for him. Let's see, one more room to go, and I'm thinking we might have our boss fight here for Casper. If not, it's basically a dead end, but seeing as you found a blood challenge room, I'm thinking boss fight down here. Ooh, store, actually, I'll be damned. So it was going to be one of the special rooms, pretty much guaranteed. It's a matter of what, and that happened to be the store, so all the way to the other side of the floor with Casper now. And again, speaking of Pestilence, our second horseman, same one as we just saw for Casper, will wind up with the same cube of meat on zero game plan side on the right, just about finishing this off. And again, building up that time advantage, gonna head down to the depths. You know, think about maybe going into this devil deal too. Ooh. Um, yeah, that's ow. <laughs> so Brimstone and Guppy's head being left behind. Uh, looks like. Are we just grabbing the money or is he gonna go grab the red health too? Zero actually gonna clear out a few more rooms. So having enough money, Zero's gonna wait to find a store here. Ah, oh, chat's trying to reconnect so tough, man. There's Casper's item room for Caves too. And again, one more room, we'll be right on over to that boss fight. He's really gonna wish he didn't head to the left here. So Peeper's gonna knock one of uh, Casper's eyes around the room, and again, that'll damage anything it comes in contact with. Be real careful though, that will move your bombs. So be very cautious of that. Like I said, there's your boss fight for Casper. Ooh, that did not pay off, so Greed in the Caves 2 store. I repeat, Greed in the Caves 2 store. So Zero will wind up with more money out of this, or in this case, half off of anything else in stores from here on out. So two more stores to find. He'll only pay half price for items. So not terrible, but eh, maybe not exactly what Zero wanted at the same time. So he'll be back on over to where his boss fight was and drop on down to his depths one slightly ahead of Casper, who's fighting uh, the same Chad that we saw on Zero's side. He'll wind up with, ooh. I can't believe that devil deal was still there. It moved where it was, but it was still there. So like I said, little Chad gonna show up. Casper waited until the eye uh, peeper moved out of the way. No key for that chest though. Wow, wasted bomb and no key. So both on their depths one, Casper an expansion version, the Necropolis here, so a little bit tougher version. Ooh, Zero getting kind of lucky. There's an eternal heart in there. He doesn't want it though. And that is blocking a doorway technically. So here's hoping he doesn't have to go back out that side because Zero does not want red hearts. And again, if you guys are wondering why, he's already had, uh, uh, shoot, did Guppy's Paw show up? I believe it did. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, it did in his uh, Devil Deal, so he knows that he can't turn any Red Hearts into uh, Soul Hearts from here on out. So he doesn't want to pick any up, being that he already has Soul Hearts rocking. Ooh, in the Pact, very nice. So Casper going to get more damage, more Fire Rate, and those two Soul Hearts. On into his Seeker Room for Greed. Which means he's going to have to waste some of those hearts getting back out. He also gets the steam sale, so half off of everything in his stores. 
Zero working on a uh, judgy here, so judgy, please. Ju ah. Judgy, I guess, kind of thank you? Not really. So the portable slot machine showed up. Would have been another way for Zero to gamble on the run, but he wants no part of it. He'll keep moving on. And speaking of that, finding his boss fight on Zero's side to the right here. We'll see what Casper gets. He's got this in the, uh, in the next room. We'll find out what he's connected to. Because that should be one of the special rooms. And indeed, it is his uh, item room and actually store here for Casper. So again, with uh, knowing full well that he's already taken out a mini boss fight, that store is actually worthwhile because he can afford the item in there as well. So where's the key get used? Item room it is. Ooh, the wafer, half damage from here on out. So in the womb, what would normally hit you for one full heart of damage, and this includes Mom's foot at the end of Depths 2, will only hit you for half a heart. And again, Zero just about done with Gish on his side. We'll wind up with Little Gish in uh, tow, which will shoot out tar tears. It'll slow down movement speed and shot speed of enemies they con are out of contact. There's Little Gish. Such a cutie. Such a helpful little bro. So again, Zero going to move on down to Depths 2. And again, that slight advantage might get taken out by the fact that he's got a Curse of the Lost, so extra uh, rooms added onto this floor. Very nicely done, that internal compass for uh, Zero, believe it or not. Takes him right on over to his item room here in the last still see. So we'll find out what he gets on the other side of this and how he finishes his build off. And Ghost Baby, yet another follower, so even more damaging tiers. They're not great, they are base damage, but they are also spectral, just like Zero's tiers, so they will go through rocks. But again, all that damage until he's got little Gish. Uh, got little Chubby firing across the room, and now we've got Ghost Baby to add on. Casper making his way on over to his boss fight after item, so he'll be clearing out his steps one momentarily. Alright, a little bit more health for Casper. Again, on down to the depths too, where he's going to look to quickly get... Oh, and a Curse of Darkness will counteract this, so won't be able to see his mini-map again with that treasure map he already has. <laughs> All the red health up for a zero game plan that he's going to have to pass on. Ooh, did I actually get into chat? Is it possible? Oh god, I see people. It's a fire. Wow, yet another greed. So Zero trying to spend that money in those stores as well as he can and keeps on finding greed. It never fails. So even more money. Zero's up to 53 cents now. Gee, thanks, greed. Totally appreciate it, bro. Totally appreciate it. Not trying to spend the money. Don't want a candle or anything. Totally appreciate it. Yes, that's a cop siren outside. Welcome to where I live. Good old Aurora. It's not depicted well in Wayne's world. Ooh, very nice timing on this. So as you notice, Casper dropped a bomb, made Chubb eat it there. And as he did that, stopped him in place, which then he dropped a Monstro on top of him. So as it wasn't moving, made sure the Monstro would hit it, because Monstro can miss, guys. I'm going to take out another mini-boss fight here, so Casper actually has a store in his store.
Wow, and Zero's floor just keeps going for him. There's Casper's item room showing up. So again, technically speaking, this is evened us up, though it's all about Casper finding his boss fight as well. Wow, that floor, man. Zero's floor just keeps extending to the side. Speaking of followers, Demon Baby now for Casper. And that's going to follow around automatically shooting at anything that gets close to it, as you just saw it try to shoot those turrets. There we go. Finally, Mom's Foot shows up. And Zero going to get regular Mom's Foot. He'll use Horror Babylon with that Emperor's card and give himself a little bit more damage. He'll keep hanging out in the middle, trying to get her to stomp on that item rock, and indeed she will. Zero picking up that Polaroid is going to give him, uh, every time he gets hit now, five seconds of damage shield. That's because he's below one full red heart. In fact, he has none. And that's the reason why he kept it the way that he did the entire time. And wow, I'm telling you, that notch pickaxe really ought to stop showing up every single store that we go into. So that hasn't been working out well. Casper going to still hang on to all that money as nothing good showed up in there. And he'll be looking for his mom's whip by himself. Zero teleporting into another god room, or a devil deal here. Uh, nice as that would be, that would take out every soul heart that he had to take either of those items. So Demon Baby could have added to that follower brigade, but again, eh, not worth taking out all your soul hearts for. There is that mom's foot, so Casper going to try to quickly get through that and catch up on the uh, same floor there that Zero Game Plan's on. And again, keep in mind, Casper does have the wafer, so everything going to hit him for half a heart. Also with Maggie's Faith now, as he gets onto the next floor, that's going to give him half an Eternal Heart. That if he gets to the next floor, or a second one on whatever floor it may be, gives you another Red Heart container. And here we'll see the difference. We got Blue Mom yet again. So nothing but expansion level enemies coming out. Very nice monster use again. <laughs> Actually somehow got lucky enough that that hit her arm. So instead of the other enemies in the room, it actually chose her arm, did a mass amount of damage. Casper just melted it. So fire rate increase yet again. He's going to leave that Polaroid behind, take his Eternal Heart as he goes down, ooh, into what could be an XL floor? Uh-oh. And he's got a world card. Oh, God. There it goes. So there's the full... And I pretty much knew where that boss fight was going to be. But there's the full map reveal. Casper going to head directly on over to his two back-to-back -back boss fights. You can see the extra room on top of the one that's revealed. So Zero now has to rush, as he was in the lead, but uh, Casper doesn't have all that many more rooms to clear, and then two boss fights. Alright, this and two more rooms for Casper, and like I said, Zero's still looking for anything here. Again, holding on to Curved Horn himself, which is plus damage on your tears, so his build kept looking nicer and nicer. It's all about finding this boss fight, though, and again, has to clear through an entire other floor after this and find another boss fight. So you can see why XL floors, especially when you have a world card, are very, very handy sometimes. And especially if you get empty rooms, so Casper into what is his Womb 1 boss fight. And again, has already cleared the entirety of Womb 2. We'll head right on into Mom's heart right up above this. Alright, Blastus is getting ripped through. Mom's coin purse, bunches of pills. Casper will take just one with him in case. Same uh, Womb 1 boss fight happening, so now one floor differential. A zero game plan is on his boss fight, uh, Daddy Long Legs. But again, all about timing here is Casper with that XL floor fighting Mom's heart already. Doing that double bomb technique, laying down a lot of damage on her. Having to be speed up on his pills. I don't know that he meant to actually hit those. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask him if he meant to use those or not. 
Actually, yeah, he did, because he's got PhD now that I think about it, so it took me a while to remember that he had that and it showed him what they were. I wasn't even looking at pills. So again, melting on through. Last little bit of damage to be done here. Zero got onto his womb too, but because of that XL floor on the left-hand side. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, what else can you do? But uh, you just sigh. Casper, one to nothing lead here. See, now we got it. Yeah, bunch is a speed up and tier rate increase. Oh, he could have fired faster if only he knew. So, like I said, one to nothing lead for Casper. Very nicely done, sir. And again, Zero was right on his tail, but that XL floor made all the difference for Casper. He's going to go back and get all these pills now, isn't he? <laughs> Might as well see what they are. Watch this be a full health. Oh, range up. All right. So it wasn't as good as we were hoping for. Either way, very nicely done. Again, give us about two minutes here. We're going to get these guys reset. We'll have round number two coming up momentarily. So hang tight with us, guys. We'll be right back on the other side of this. And uh, as you can see, Casper getting himself reset. Zero will do the same thing. Again, the uh, split link is up in the title. Go say what's up to both of them. Apparently, their chats work better than mine, but mine's screwed. So I can't see a thing in here. So go say what's up to them. Give them the support. I'll be right back in two minutes after I run these ads, and we'll get round number two underway. So hang tight, everyone. We'll see you real shortly. Alrighty, we're clear. We're back for round number two here. So let me flip this back on over. And as you can see, keeping that winning streak alive, I Casper with a one and nothing lead right now over zero game plan. And again, that was a lot closer than it looked like it was going to be going into the womb because of that XL floor. So XL floor and womb card made that round for Casper. So got pushed to the limit there, but 25 straight wins within matches for him since week one. Looking for 26 right here. And again, looking for that two to nothing win. Could also be his division clinching victory if he gets it. Zero game plan gonna look for two back to backers here to win this for him and get himself that sixth spot. Not secured completely, but get himself into the sixth spot in the NFC playoffs. So again, big matches here for both of these guys. Best of luck to you both. They're gonna race again through the womb too whenever they're ready. The uh, split link is up in the title, guys. So if uh, you can see that, uh, I can't see chat, so I can't link it to you whatsoever. But if you guys head on up there, oh boy. Uh, if you guys head on up to that split link, you can get into both Zero and Casper's chats. And I can see the look on Zero's face says, oh crap, because on the left, it's stabby time for Casper. We got Mom's Knife in the first item room. Oh god. So Zero, yeah. <laughs> That's so fitting right now. That's exactly what I would be thinking too. So Zero's going to try to find himself a uh, damage up item of some sort. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> 
<laughs> I love these gifts. So where can we find ourselves some type of shot changer? As you see Casper rip it on through that Larry Jr. already. Little bit of health up already onto his second floor. Ten bombs, debatable. Yeah, it's useful, but not exactly what uh, Zero needs at this point. He needs himself a knife, uh, something. Something knife-ish, basically, is what he needs. So he's going to reset a bit here until he finds something with damage. Uh, uh, that technically is damage. Triple shot would have been away, but not going to be good enough for him. He's going to reset again. And we got Super Lust, so one of the ones that hasn't shown up yet this week, I don't think. And you see, as you throw the knife, you actually do about 21 damage if you have no other damage up. If it's just stabbing something, you do 7. Your base tiers would do 3.5, so it basically doubles up the damage immediately with the knife. If you throw it, it triples that damage. So it's really like 6 times your base damage. That's pretty ridiculously overpowered, and you can see why Zero's resetting until he gets something of uh, some sort of damage value. Yeah, Isaac's head would be more... Uh, there we go. So there's some damage. Max's head will increase uh, Zero's... Uh, wow, he's not going to take Isaac's head. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, but that'll increase Zero's tier damage. It'll also give him knockback on those tiers. So he's off and running now. And Casper just looking for his second boss fight. We got Zero melting through Duke of Flies here. And he'll be on to his second floor. All right, Isaac's fork gives you a random chance at the end of the room to give you a half a red heart heal. And like I said, Casper on into his second boss fight already. So fighting Pink Widow and done with Pink Widow. Guaranteed health up off of that uh, half an eternal heart. Also with Jesus Juice, slight damage up and range up on that. So onto the cave, zero game plan, uh, onto his uh, basement too. Excuse me, sorry about that. Wow, the PhD again for Casper. Let's see if he remembers he has it this time and starts taking pills, which is exactly what uh, Zero Game Plan just got himself. He passed on all four pills because, like most of our racers, he doesn't want the stat down possibility. On the other hand, on the left, I Casper no longer has any of those stat down pills showing up. At worst, he gets neutral effects. I can tell by the look on Zero's face that he just found out what Casper picked up. <laughs> so again, no key. Zero's going to have to skip that item room for the time being. And hope he gets one to spawn here, as he's also found his boss fight to finish off the second floor. And everybody's favorite, Famine. So the oh-so-popular every couple seconds out of him as he shoots. And again, that'll wind up with a cube of meat for a zero game plan. That'll block shots and again do that same seven damage that the knife would do if it just flat-out stabs something. So again, double base tier damage when you think about it. We got Lemon Mishap for Casper that he used, uh, tried to use, I should say, against Gertie. Didn't get in quite close enough, though. Magic 8 Ball increase your shot speed, so your shot will travel faster on screen. Full Car would teleport you back to the original room of the floor. Balls of Steel. There you go. Thanks to the uh, PhD, we'll tell you exactly what those pills are. Gives you two soul hearts. And again, there's, that, blah, blah, blah. there's that cube of meat for zero game plan. Still going to be looking for that key, I think. Eh, considering it. And, uh, key, no key. Possible item room? Possible item room. He's at least going to get the heal. Nope, going to at least get the heal. He's going to be right on down to his or third floor. He's going to skip that item room. All right, so free seeker room opened up there on zero game plan side. He'll probably at least check that out for something good. Yeah, six cents, not exactly what he needed. Casper right on over to his item room as always. Yeah, perfect timing, two keys. Not that he needed one, but he gets two of them. Ooh, Team Bean, assemble. So wow, the bean and the knife in one combo. That's kind of brutal. Don't really need knives for beans, but it does help. And look at this, right over to his boss fight. Ahem, <laughs> internal compass. Um, as I was saying, internal compass. So, we'll see who he melts uh, through here next. It'll be Chad. So, little Chad will be the result. There is the bean being worked on. So, that will uh, do one poison fart for you in an AoE. So, anything that happens to get hit by that will take poison damage over time. There's little Chad. So, every a couple of rooms that uh, Casper clears out, he'll wind up with a half a red heart spawn. Ooh, there we go. Speaking of half a red heart, zero game plan. Maybe at half a red heart himself, but just found an Emperor card, which will teleport you directly to a boss fight. Again, they're working on basically a two-floor disadvantage, though, so he needs that in a bad way. And he also really needs some health in a bad way. 
And speaking of boss fights, Casper immediately finding his here in the depths, and I doubt he's going to care about his item room. Indeed, he won't. Right on in for a bloat fight. Normally very scary. But with the knife, I don't think Casper's going to cry too much here. Pun intended, he's going to be throwing knives, not crying tears, so... I don't think he's going to cry at all in this fight. And just about done with it. There we go. A little bit more health. I'll be moving on to his depths, too. Well, that, that's kind of a thing. It doesn't exactly help at the moment. Normally it would. When you get hit and down to half a red heart, that scapular that Zero Game Plan picked up would spawn one full blue soul heart for you. Problem is, Zero's already at half a red heart, so he doesn't get that spawn just yet. He needs a half a red heart heal, then to get hit again to get that to spawn. So he's going to have to wait a second. Hopefully a, a heart spawns out of that champion mob, per se. We'll find out what happens here. Uh, two of diamonds will double up his money. Again, not what he wanted, but he'll take the 12 cents. Keep his Emperor card, grab himself a free key, and keep moving on along. All right, so yet again being uh, cursed with darkness here. Uh, I Casper will not be able to see his minimap whatsoever, as I has not pointed out yet. So it doesn't matter what you get. Ooh, very nice beam use on that one. That should actually take care of all those uh, knights, and indeed it did. All these red heart spawns. But I'm Casper. I might actually consider going and playing, especially with that Isaac's 64 healing him too. I might consider going and playing the uh, uh, blood machine. He's going to check out over on the other side, just looking for uh, clearing out this floor, I believe. Or a possible judge, please, not even going to waste his time. This is what I was saying. Casper doesn't really care. He just wants his boss fights, I believe, at this point. Again, Zero speaking of boss fights, fighting off uh, Blighted Ovum here in Caves 1. Just about done. Already halfway through him. Again, that Max's head is adding a lot of damage to his tears. And here's what you watch out for. Hang out on the other side of rocks if you can. Wow, it's trying to give him that crown. Might as well take it. Ooh, lots of money. So Pageant Boy producing good money this time. Yes, crown. Thank you. Let's see, Zero going to head on back. And might as well go on down to the store. Did he already open that? Yeah, he did. Oh, that's right. He has his Emperor card out here. I was wondering what else was there. But I'd forgotten his Emperor card. I thought he had used it since I didn't see it for whatever reason. So, speaking of boss fights, again, Casper moving right on over to his uh, Red Mom's foot fight. And you can see with the knife, you just barely throw it out and you get that triple damage on it. So, melting right on through her, a little bit of range increase. Polaroid pickup and on down to the womb already for Casper. So, again, two more floors and a possible division clinch on the left side. that not kill that guy? That was bizarre. Guess we're not going to cry too much about that again, but nonetheless, didn't actually kill that with one shot. That's really weird. Moon again just missed that brain, too. Alright, so no key. Zero needs to get into that item room. Really, really needs a key, though. That internal compass for Casper yet again, taking him right over to his boss fight. So heading on in, going to get Conquest. Ugh. Not a bro, but again, with the knife, not that incredibly scary. You can get through him pretty quickly. Nice poison shot there by Casper. Down to one and a half hearts, though. Has to play it real careful with those beams of light. Ooh, make that half a heart. Casper just going to do that five seconds of stabby time here. So he'll grab himself flying capabilities plus movement speed. Where else are we going to head to? So let's see, now that he can fly, I'll head into the center. Ooh, Cancer. Uh, doesn't actually help him any. That wouldn't actually increase his uh, uh, charge, or decrease, I should say, his knife uh, throwing time, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll leave that behind. Just the uh, one soul heart, one half a heart. Casper taking that white pony with him. Down to a Curse of Darkness, Womb 2. One floor possibly left to go, and he could clinch his division all about finding that Mom's foot fight or Mom's Heart fight. And again, thank you to the heels and thank you to that arcade. Hello, timing. 
So Casper's gonna blow up that heart machine. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Full heart, thank you very much. Ah, those heals. He's looking much safer right now. Thank you again to that slot machine and out of the arcade. So he leaves that three card Monty just in case he needs some hearts later on, but looking pretty safe again as Casper. Wow, that was scary for a second, but this game, I'm telling you, man. Sometimes it's just like, oh, you have the knife. Uh, we're supposed to give you hearts. <laughs> He's also got a little Chad, which has been spawning him excessively for him, so it's been working out nice. Zero working on the hollow here. And again, with no bombs, can't do the real easy kill where you drop a bomb in the center and get him to walk right next to it, so he's going to have to tear him to death. Again, golden key on uh, Casper's side would give him infinite keys for the floor. Speaking of, OG, oh thanks for the other key spawn in the room. Totally appreciate it, game. Needed that. Didn't have infinite keys. Totally needed another one. And another one. Gee, thanks. Casper's got pills back in this room. Look up hill, so again, not quite full health or anything. He does have a judgy that he can play back in the other room as well. So Emperor card by zero is gonna, or uh, at least a part of some sort. I didn't see what it was, quite honestly, but gonna take him right on into his boss fight. I'm assuming that was his Emperor. So he'll be fighting the bloat. Now you see how you actually have to fight this. He can shoot Brimstone straight down or to the two sides at the same time, but he cannot shoot him straight up. So you see Zero's trying to make him uh, taunt him basically down to the bottom of the floor. All he's got to do is make him jump. Of course, all that blood at the top isn't exactly going to help in the same process. And Bloat's not being kind. Let's get a quick judgy please on Casper's side. Thank you for the heart. Exactly what he needs. Ooh, treasure map. Yeah, that's not going to help right now because when the Curse of Darkness doesn't matter. Treasure map doesn't do a thing for you. So Judgy being a bit of a troll, but at least he gave Casper a heart out of it, if nothing else. And speaking of hearts, how about another heart and a half here for Casper? Up to five now. And double rats, so ooh, to this room. Again, with the knife, though, not too bad. But still working on the halfway mark on the bloat for uh, zero game plan on the right side. And he just will not jump down to the bottom of the room. Any day now. There we go. Thank you. Look at all the blood on this room from the eyeballs. Like, enough said. He's been in this fight for a little bit, being that almost the entire floor is covered in eyeball blood. So he's popping one or two shots where he can in here. And there we go. Casper looking on the other side of this fight with that half a heart now. Plenty of health into his mom's hard fight, looking to go to, if I'm doing my math right, and I am 13-1 and one on the year, clinching the NFC South if he can beat this mom's hard fight. So again, Mellow is kind of hoping for something crazy to happen here, but it's looking pretty good for Casper, down to the last bit of damage to do on mom's heart. He'll walk in, start the stab in motion, and ladies and gentlemen, your New Orleans Saints, Mr. I. Casper, has not lost anything since week one and is your division champion in the NFC South. Congratulations to Mr. I. Casper. 13-1 on the season now. Seriously, round of applause.